Patrick Zimmerle. I'm the composer of Clockworks. Clockworks is a piece that is all about time. Time in its smallest subdivision, but then bigger sections of time, how things fit in over movements, how several movements can come together to form a piece that has coherence, how someone's work evolves and how someone's thinking evolves over a career over 25 years uh, of music. Polyrhythms are two rhythms that are happening at once. So you can have an, an underlying pulse and then you can do something else against it. One. So you can get two speeds going. And by having two speeds going, it's as if the band is playing at two different tempos at once, but you can come out together, all together at once, um, in, kind of, in a kind of controlled way that gives a feeling of total freedom and total expansion, but at the same time, complete unity. I've been working with Patrick Zimmerle on and off for over 20 years now. Uh, but Patrick, uh, how he works with musicians is, is very special and unique because he always brings out the best in the, in the, in the, in the artists he surrounds himself with. And, and works with, and these are artists and musicians who are already at such a high level of what they do. You don't, it's it's hard to fathom that there's that that they could go higher. But in, in what he does, he, he knows how to utilize his, these musicians, and, and, and specifically likes to write for specific musicians. His works are are, are geared towards the musicians he uses on those pieces. My initial interest in sort of advanced rhythms came from a contemporary composition strand. I was very interested in the music of Bartok and other composers of, and then their uh, descendants in the contemporary world who were doing very, very complicated things with, with polyrhythm. But there were a lot of rhythmic experiences that had been going on in jazz. You, um, Dave Rubeck, for example, uh, with his Time Out, was experimenting with odd meters, but that wasn't really my influence. It was more the Miles Davis Quartet of the 60s, uh, where you had uh, Ron Carter and Tony Williams would be playing these things that fluctuated. It feels like the, it felt like the time was fluctuating, but against a sort of background pulse. So actually, something I was interested in was creating that effect, but having a little bit more control by having the pulses be actually written out. And so this is something that hadn't really been done. Uh, that to, to sort of play some play pulses against a sort of invisible background, and that was what made it very difficult. And so we would have to spend you know weeks and months trying to understand these rhythms and to be able to really play them together, and then to on top of that use them as a basis for improvisational language, which was also what I was really interested in, sort of carrying the jazz tradition forward in that way. Bye. 
heady stuff about music and composition devices. In the presentation of music, it's not about that. It's about presenting the music for the audience. And I've seen, you know, how audiences respond to, to this music and the lyricism that's in the music and how he brings all these worlds together. They intuitively get the music and appreciate it and enjoy being part of the, part of the experience. It's a journey everyone goes on and it's a hell of a ride.